Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, bringing you guys a javelin tutorial guide for the map of Afghan, and there are some definitely some quad spots on this map. If you guys are new to this series, check the description, and uh, there will be a playlist to all of my other maps in Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to go ahead and show you the, guys the opening route uh, from the C flag spawn towards the A flag. This actually works pretty well. You usually get one or two. Uh, I've definitely got some quads doing this as well, though. I um, mean, you can use this map at uh, this point at any time in the map, but this is great for the spawn. You uh, usually lock onto the truck or behind the truck and just let it rip. Usually there's snipers back there that you can get and when the truck explodes it's pretty epic. Um, so that's one of the, the best spots. This is another spot that you get doubles and quads at any time there's people camping inside. Uh, you just shoot it and then you gotta kinda move back like you just saw myself do right there. When you end up moving back uh, it ends up doing some, uh, some, some dirty work and ends up getting you uh, some kills to the people inside of the building. There's actually a way to shoot across and through the building I'll show you guys that at the end, and then um, also I'll show you guys some of the javelin spots in action at the end of the video. Uh, this is a line of sight spot from the C flag to the B flag, and uh, when they're spawning in that back building by B, um, you can be sneaky back there and, and uh, get a couple kills. Um, this is going to be from C flag, and I'm going to creep up here and show you again. So it's the same area. This is a really epic spot. When they're spawning back there and you have B and C flag, or when you have... Uh, just the C flag in there, or let's say you have A flag, I'm sorry, and then they're going to go ahead and cap A. That's a great spot to use it. Also, this gets you in the back of B uh, when they're camping back there. Always got to be careful when you're putting yourself out there for snipers, though. If you just stay up there and just stand in one spot, they will snipe you. Not a pretty look. Uh, this is a spot that you can use to get over to the other side uh, of A, and, uh, and sometimes that works. It's not necessarily a quad spot. Uh, there's definitely some some quad spots um, on this map again, and I'll kind of go over those in just a second. A couple of them I already showed you, and here I am fumbling around just uh, running over rocks and stuff. But working my way to the other side, um, there's definitely some good javelin spots in here. And, and this is one actually I never thought about using, um, using this to clear out the the area inside. And I actually ended up using it and ended up getting a kill uh, with it. When there's just people camping inside from from uh, trapping you, basically spawn trapping you in the back of A. It's never a pretty thing, but um, you can kill some people. This isn't really, I think this would be a quad spot. I just ha haven't found the perfect spot. If you shoot this down, you can kill the people over when they're capping C. Um, usually I get a single or doubles, nothing too major. This has been a quad spot for sure, though. When they're capping A or when they're rushing A really, really hard, uh, you can use this spot and it actually will end up touching down and uh, doing some work. Again, it's very imperative that you pay attention to the minimap and see where the enemies are actually spawning. Uh, if you can predict where the enemies are spawning, then you will have way more success. Now, this is another great spot. You can actually shoot behind uh, the bunker and kill them as they're walking into the bunker, as they're spawning back there. Uh, you guys know how, if, if you have that um, A and C spawn on this map, you can get them to uh, to do that. And it's actually a, just a, it is a really good spot. And I ended up getting stuck on a, on the wall here. I don't know what I was doing. I was like, man, how, how do I get out of here? So I think I ended up killing myself to get out. But um, that javelin spot is definitely a, a good one, and I definitely get singles and doubles um, all day long doing that, especially, again, predicting where they're spawning when they're spawning uh, at the B flag. Um, coming back over to this area, when they have the C flag and you have B and A, uh, you can turn around and you can go ahead and shoot up top of here. I always lock onto the rock usually, and the rock area right here for some reason when I do that, um, this is a quad spot all day long. Uh, if they're not, if, if you have one of those lobbies where they just all stand up there like a bunch of retards, uh, you're good to go. You can also shoot right there, and right here is a great spot because when they're spawning back there and they're not wanting to stand up by the rock, you kill them enough times, you can go ahead and get them right there, and they, they're coming up the side. That's definitely a double spot. Um, I've definitely got some quads back there as well, but the one on the top of the rock is definitely um, the probably the best quad spot on this map. And uh, you can see you can reach that spot from inside this bunker as well. But again, when you're in the bunkers, got to be careful uh, because they will snipe you. And uh, I've gotten sniped probably more than anybody because of it. This is another spot. When they're spawning in the back of A, um, you can use this right here and it can reach around that corner a little bit. And it's actually a nice little um, uh, it's a nice little spot to be able to use when, when they're um, just kind of peep, peeping around the corner and noob tubing or whatever. Uh, this is a spot when you're spawning from this side, the A side. Uh, you can go ahead and lock on back there, and I've definitely gotten um, doubles uh, when I start the game that way. And I think there's just a couple more spots on this map. This is another spot you can use to kind of hide behind where they don't really see you very well, or I don't usually get sniped when I'm right here. And you can catch them coming around from the backside to see, or you can catch them coming from the top of sea. 
Um, but you can lock onto these spots from, I mean, if you can figure out where to lock onto them from any location, uh, by all means, I'd say do it. Uh, this last one is mind-blowing, though. I don't know if you guys have uh, seen this one right here before. Uh, I found this one just randomly. I was really trying to figure out how to touch down in the back of the map. It's really tricky. It's not very convenient because you kind of put yourself out here to be seen. But if you lock on just right to the other side of the map, um, you're going to see I, I'm going to try to get it. And what happens is it actually locks on to the, to the, to the um, mountain mound or whatever behind. You, it helps if you crawl up on this thing. And also you got to watch above you because if you don't be careful, uh, you can suicide yourself. And right there I think this is it. And I shot it up. You can see I moved over and shot it up. And it actually touches down on the back of A. So if you have them spawn trapped at A and you have not the ability to do that, you can definitely pull quads with that one. Now let's go ahead and get into using some of the javelin spots and have a couple examples uh, for you guys. This is the epic one though, dude. This is the one that shocks people all day long when you shoot this one right there. And there's a nice little triple right there uh, from that spot. It's You have to run back. You can see I just about killed myself. Really important that you run backwards, otherwise uh, you're going to be uh, hurting or you're just going to end up suiciding yourself, which is no fun. Uh, this is a great spot. Quads all day long, again, when they're spawning A side. Check out the flags again when, when you guys are watching this or rewatch. They have A. We don't have any other flags, but I know they're spawning from A flag, so I threw that up and it's going to touch down. I end up getting a double over there. Um, definitely doubles, um, and you can get more than doubles uh, usually from that location. Um, this is, again, you can see we just spawned. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, I switched it up. Okay, so this one right here is from A flag to get in the back of this building right here. Because you know they always go up there. They're always noob tubing. They're always hanging out in that building right there. And I just went ahead and used that javelin spot right there. I ended up getting just a single. Sometimes you get more than that. Um, definitely not usually quads. but uh, And look at the map again, the mini map. You can see that they just have C. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm actually locking on to the top of the plane this time. And, uh, and I wanted to see if it would work, and it actually does work. You can lock on the top of the plane. You can see I ended up getting a double right there when they have the C flag. Uh, ni nice little spot uh, as well. Um, and let's see here. This is when usually they're spawning on the back side of A, as you can see right here. As, and I would recommend throwing a stun grenade. You, you can see I'm throwing grenades right here, but stun grenades would have been a way to go because uh, stuns kind of make them frozen or whatever, so you can't do anything. This is the spot from the back um, of the uh, the middle area, and I just I saw them getting killed in there, so I was like, eh, let me go for it, and I'm getting a single. Anyway, hopefully you guys found these spots helpful, and if you guys did, uh, subscribe to the channel or give the video a thumbs up or whatever, and thanks for watching. Um, I And check the description for more of, of these uh, Javelin tutorial videos. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.